O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You understand my thought from afar. You scrutinize my path and my lying down and are intimately acquainted with all my ways. Even before there is a word on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it all. You have enclosed me behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I dwell in the remotest part of the sea, even there your hand will lead me, and your right hand will lay hold of me. If I say, surely the darkness will overwhelm me, and the light around me will be night. But even the darkness is not dark to you, and the night is as bright as the day. For you formed my inward parts, and you wove me in my mother's womb. I will give thanks to you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, O Lord, and my soul knows it very well. For my frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret, and skillfully wrought in the depths of the earth. Your eyes have seen my unformed substance, and in your book they were all written, the days which were ordained for me when as yet there was not one of them. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him, for he knows how we are formed, and he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. Oh, he flourishes like the flower of the field, but the wind blows over it, and it is gone and his place remembers it no more. But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him and his righteousness with their children's children. See how great a love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. He is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of Jesus and forgave our sins. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Seek the Lord while he may be found, and call upon him while he is near. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. For the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget none of his benefits, who pardons all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, and crowns you with loving kindness and compassion, who satisfies your ears with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. Be strong, and let your heart take courage, all you who hope in the Lord. For he will bestow on us a crown of beauty, instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. We shall be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power, and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heavens and in the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. Praise the Lord, all of his works, everywhere in his dominion. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted, and his splendor is above the earth and the heavens. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord, for great is the Lord, and most worthy of praise. The Lord is good, and his love endures forever, and his faithfulness continues throughout all generations. Come, let everyone who is called by his name, whom he created for his glory, whom he formed and made, oh, let us bow down and worship, and let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker.